Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a couple of questions here at the Mayweather McGregor press conference here in London from the media. So if you are from the media, raise your hand and you can ask a question with, for Floyd Money Mayweather and the notorious Conor McGregor here in London. Question. Go, go ahead, sir. Turn his mic on. Go ahead, sir. Question for Conor McGregor. Conor, how do you address the doubters, those who say you've got no chance? I can't hear you, bud. Conor, how do you address the doubters, those who say you've got no chance? How do you make them believe? By doing what I, I say I'm gonna do, by sleeping this man inside of four rounds. The same way I silence them every other time. Floyd, how do you think this contest will affect your legacy? In, in boxing, <laughs> In boxing, it's all about taking chances. And in boxing and in contact sports, period, it's about taking risk. And if you're going to take risk, take it against the top guys. Connor, Connor, what was your goal for the world tour and have you accomplished it now that it's over? The goal for the World Tour was just, look, it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. I mean, something of this magnitude. I don't think in either sport we've seen anything like this. So the, the, the number one goal was to have fun with it, to enjoy it. I mean, some of them shots from yesterday and the Toronto scenes. And the whole trip has been just amazing. Even now, like, there's a fucking ring right in the middle. This is just a fucking press conference. I don't, is it even a press conference? They just transformed into something, something different, but... The goal for me was just to have fun. Get up close and personal with this man and see what he's about. So I learned he's like a, he's like a little kid. So that's it. I, I had fun and I'm looking forward to now the real work and then the fight on August 26th. Uh, my question's for Connor. Connor, throughout your career, people have always doubted you. How much do you enjoy proving them wrong? How much do you enjoy proving your doubt is wrong? How much do you enjoy proving your doubters wrong? It, it gets me going. It's what, it's what motivates me. They all doubt me. They all, they all try and laugh at, at everything. They try and mock me. It's been happening to me whole career. So it's just something that motivates me to keep going and conquering the unconquerable. To show that anything is possible. You, can, you know what I mean? We're all, we're all able to do anything. Like I said to the, to the crowd here, four years ago, I was fighting in a place here in London called the HMV Forum in front of 500 people. That was four fucking years ago. Now I'm here and I'm about to take part in this billion dollar fight. I'm about to smoke this fool. And we're here doing 20,000 people in a fucking press conference. So if that doesn't show you that anything is possible, then I don't know what does. But... Time for one more question, one more question. Connor, we know you love to fight, we know you love the fame, and we sure know you love the money. But when you it's come like here, you know me all me life. when you come here to an event like this and see that more than 5,000 of your fellow countrymen have flown here just for this event tonight, does it hit home now? But not only are you fighting for the things you love, but for the country of Ireland. 100%. My home country is very dear to my heart. I mean, the fans, the Irish fans are... Everyone around the world knows about the Irish fans. They are not to be messed with. Floyd has never fought an Irish man before. He's not experienced this. But in, this, in the ring, he will, he will feel it. Make no mistake about it. It's a different animal when the Irish are in town. And that's just, that's just the truth. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you in Las Vegas. Floyd Money Mayweather, the notorious Conor McGregor, Saturday, August 26th, from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, live on Showtime Pay-Per-View, brought to you by Mayweather Promotions, London. We'll see you come fight week. Oh, no.